Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about the variable frequency drives, which are mainly used to control the speed of an induction motor. In the first part of the video, we will try to understand how VFDs control the speed of an induction motor by discussing the design parameters of both induction motor and the VFDs. In the second part of the video, we will discuss how speed control of an induction motor is related to the energy management in the power systems. Hope that you are going to enjoy our discussion. VFDs in combination with induction motors are used to drive industrial equipment like pumps, fans and compressors to have better process control and for energy conservation. In order to control the motor's speed, VFD uses the simple principle that the speed of the motor is directly proportional to the supply frequency. We can say that if the motor is rated at 50 Hz frequency, then at this frequency, the motor will run on its rated speed. In order to decrease the speed of the motor, we need to reduce the frequency of the incoming supply, which in this example is 20 Hz. We can say that VFT is a controller that controls the speed of an electric motor by varying the frequency of the motor incoming supply. Now we will see how a variable frequency drive controls the frequency of the power supply. To control the frequency of the incoming waveform, the design of the VFD typically consists of three stages. First stage is the rectifier that uses diodes to convert the AC signal into a pulsating DC signal. In the second stage, ripples in the pulsating DC waveform are filtered by using a capacitor. The capacitor output is a relatively smooth DC signal as capacitor absorbs the ripples from the pulsating DC waveform. In the third stage which is called inverter, the switching action by using the electronic switches such as IGBT converts the DC output from the DC bus into a rectangular waveform which reflects the shape of a sinusoidal wave. The frequency of the output waveform is controlled by regulating the switching frequency of the IGBT switches. Now we look at the demonstration where the VFD is controlling the speed of the induction motor. The induction motor we used in this demonstration is rated at 50 Hz frequency and at 1500 rpm speed. The power circuit consists of an incoming circuit breaker which has a dual role. You can switch on and off the incoming power to the VFD and it also provides the short circuit protection to the complete power circuit. This is in addition to the built-in protection functions within the VFD. The power contactor used in the power circuit is operated based on the design control logic and decides when the power will be supplied to the VFD. Then the VFD provides the electrical power to the induction motor. In the demonstration, we can see that when the reference frequency is set at 50 Hz, the motor will ramp up to the rated speed of 1500 rpm. However, when the reference frequency is set at 20 Hz, which is 40% of the rated frequency, the motor will also ramp up to the speed of 600 rpm, which is again 40% speed of the 1500 rpm rated speed. Now we will discuss how the speed control of an induction motor benefits the end user in terms of energy conservation. In order to understand the mechanism, we will take the example of speed control of an industrial fan and will continue our discussion in reference to the laws of affinity. The law of affinity shows us that the designed air flow will be 100% if we drive the fan at 100% speed. The air pressure in the HVAC duct is proportional to the square of the speed. Finally, the power required to drive the fan is proportional to the cube of the speed and from here comes the idea of energy conservation. We do not need to run fans at 100% speed at all the times during the air. We can adjust the speed of the fan based on the requirement of required air flow. For instance, if according to the requirement, we reduce the fan speed from 100% to 80% speed, the power drawn will be reduced to nearly 50%.
which is a very significant saving in the electricity bill. Reducing speed to more lower values will save us more power as shown here in the table. The circuit implementation for this speed control is very simple. We provide VFT the three phase power and the desired reference value of the speed. The VFD provides fan motor a waveform that drives the motor at our desired speed value. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.